Gorilla Com going 10 8. What's up, guys? I just came back from a three night uh, camping trip where I went to deploy equipment and just have some fun and get away from it all. And uh, I'm back now and I'm replenishing my kit from what I took with me. Uh, you see, my 72 hour kit there has everything I need. And so I just grab that with me and head for the hills to do a little bit of hiking and I add on some luxuries here and there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I built the fire and all that, but uh, once once in a while I want a quick meal and uh, I use the alcohol stove uh, to go ahead and do that real quick. It's easy, no fussing around, uh, and, and it gets you two cups of water boiling in, in no time. So uh, I was trying out a, a different system of, of taking uh, alcohol with me, denatured alcohol. Uh, you see I got one of these uh, Vargo titanium uh, alcohol stove. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. it. It does what it needs to do. Really light, compact, packs up really well. Uh, it's a challenge trying to balance some pots on it, but uh, I... I I do something else to get that uh, working. You, traditionally, you have these uh, alcohol bottles here, or these bottles that you see. They do leak a little bit, and controlling the the it's it's a challenge trying to get that spout into this little hole here, because this stove here it's a challenge on, on fueling it. All the fuels has you have to uh, put the fuel right on top of this kind of like little cup here and then it drains down into the compartment inside and, and it takes a little bit of while I mean it, it, it does the job that's all I can say but but I'm sort of dissatisfied about this bottle here so uh, reading blogs and stuff like that people have suggested using uh, contact uh, eye contact solution uh, bottles uh, I don't have any alcohol in it. this is my wife's and it does have a little spout here to, to jet the fuel right into the middle of this hole here. But the thing is, this particular bottle here, it, it's a snap cap and, and if it's in your pack, it's gonna leak because the, the cap could just come off real easily and then you have a bag for uh, a fire hazard uh, on your back. And the size of the bottle, this is 16 ounces. I'm sure they're smaller, but uh, it's not pack friendly as far as the size of it. Looking at my kids stuff, you know, they have pencils and crayons and, and all sorts of stuff, glue, scissors. Uh, I took a look at their Elmer's glue bottle here. And we all grew up with this stuff here. And I just started looking at the, at the spout here and it's perfect. First of all, when it's locked up, I mean, I am squeezing as hard as I can and nothing comes out of there. Nothing. It is tight. This thing, I had it in my pack for a good two weeks and it didn't leak. It didn't smell of alcohol or nothing. And then, just to use it, you twist cap. I mean, everybody knows how to use a Elmer's glue uh, bottle here. And it's way easier to control stick it to the hole and you could just squeeze and jet the fuel in there and you could hear the fuel being jetted in there and is that quick then you have to sort of gauge it so it won't overfill and spill off the little to the little sides there and make your little pool on top there so you could ignite it unfortunately for this model alcohol stove you have to fold it up fill it up all the way so it'll heat up and do what it needs to do. And when there's a steady pool on top, then you can light that sucker on fire. Just like so. That was an easy, clean way of fueling your alcohol stove, this particular alcohol stove. And the one attribute that I love about this thing is two, quite a few of them actually. It's, it's tight. Once you close it, I mean, you're not going to have any leakage whatsoever but the size of it I mean packing this into your pack it will pack really well onto the pockets that you have in there or anywhere in there this bottle here 
is 7.6 fluid ounces. And I have another one here that I keep in the pack as well, same size. And this one is longer storage, so I put a little bit of a, a wrapping there, so just in case that the spout fails, that, that it will still keep its, its seal from under here. And this one I keep open because I use it constantly. So these two bottles here is 15 ounces and that's roughly 15 hot meals at least or an emergency fuel source to build a, a wood fire or something like that or what have you. But the whole point of it is this has been the most convenient way of fueling the alcohol stove uh, in, in this setup here. It's recommended that you get the washable no run kind because it's easier to clean out. You just fill it up with what, drain it or have your kids use it up within their time and uh, fill it up with water, shake it, have it dissolve in there and after a couple of days of doing that it will be nice and clean ready to use. Sometimes after boiling your, your cup of water or whatever uh, you have quite a bit of fuel left over mostly all the time so instead of chucking it or making it burn out or, or anything, I like to save it. But it's kind of difficult uh, with this model to pour it back into your bottle. So this is the method that I use to do that. I, one of the legs have to be kicked out to be used as sort of a drip loop. And then you just tip it over just a little bit. And the liquid would just drip right in there through the leg using it as a drip loop and most of it will end up nice and neat or clean into the bottle without spilling. There will be a point where it's going to spill just a little bit but that's towards the end and that's where it starts to drip over and then at that point I just quickly turn it over this way as a summary, total weight is two and a half pounds. I have 15 ounces of alcohol, a stainless steel cup and pot, some knickknacks here and there, and a titanium wood stove underneath down there. So I have both alcohol and wood capabilities depending on what is going on. And all that is two and a half pounds for a hot meal.